Okay, hi all. Now we will try to understand what is Replit and why we will be using Replit throughout our journey. So Replit is an online tool which will help us to write the Java programs. Not only Java program, you can use it for any other programming languages also. So uh, let's try to understand exactly what will be the purpose of Replit. Let's open this link. Once you will click on this link, you will notice that a code base has already opened up for you. So let's have a look at this code base. So if you will notice, there are some files present over here. For example, uh, there is a main file which is present and we have a code base over here. So Replit is actually an online tool where you can write your Java program and execute it. So you are not required to install all those uh, Java JDK JRE on your local machine and even any ID like IntelliJ or Eclipse. That will not be required. We will use this online tool to run our program, write our program and run it. We will use this online tool. And second scenario for which we will use. So let's say there is a code base which is already present. So that code base will be shared to all of you using this replit link itself. So if you would notice, if we are already shared with some code, right? For example, this main.java, then there is MD file present that is logical operator.md. So these files are shared to you from cryo side and we will do some enhancement on modification on top of these files itself. So that is why we will go ahead with throughout our journey on Replit itself. A link will be shared to you and we will write our program using that itself. Now, in order to go ahead and use Replit, you will be required to create an account. So just log into replit.com. Just log into replit.com. And after that, you can sign in with your Gmail. Use the same Gmail ID with which you have registered at Cryo. And you can just create a sign-in. Once you have created a sign-in, you can open this link. After that, there is an option to poke a ripple. So if you would notice, as of now, this program is shared to us from Cryo side. In the browser also, it is written as Cryo Tools. It means that you don't have permission to edit this file. If you would notice, I'm not allowed to edit this file. So you will create your own local copy. So this is the common code. This is a common code which is shared with all of us. We will create our local copy from this. All of us will create a, our own local copy and you can perform changes on top of that. So in order to create a local copy, you have to click on this fork option. Just click on this fork option and you will have one more option to fork ripple. Just click on this fork ripple. Now, if everyone would notice, it has replaced that cryo tools with my name. So it means that it has created a local copy for me. And if you guys would notice, I am allowed to edit this file now. I can make some changes. For example, let's try to print something. Let's say I want to print A plus B. Let's try to print this and run our program. So it has given me permission to edit the file and I've added some extra piece of code. So the code base which was shared to us from cryo side, I've made some enhancement on top of it and I'm able to execute my program as well. So that will be the overall uses of Replit as a tool throughout our journey.